Alright guys, welcome back. Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice, I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Come on. You probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. Hey. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yep, in a place with minimum cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. What? Forget that, look. That shack is seriously some kind of museum. Hey! Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? A palace is a scenery driven by desires. Just like how Kamoshida's palace was a castle. Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Got some uh, different music here. Yes! Well then it's time to begin our infiltration. Uh, are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? Don't be stupid, we're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. We'll just have to find our way over it then. In any case, let's get going. Yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. The exhibit is now closed for today. We await your return on another date. Hey, send more guards over here. Just the two of us won't be able to deal with this whole crowd. Oh. This is our chance. It looks like security is focused on the front entrance. That means that there'll be less of them elsewhere. Let's go. I played this part a little bit, then I uh, stopped recording and uh, didn't save it, so I had to go back and do the last video, but it lets you like fast forward through it, so that's really helpful. I uh, just got into this museum, but that's about it. Stone. Yeah, I don't think I've like equipped anything <laughs> since I started the uh, playthrough again. Open skylights. Hey! Oh, the skylights open. I think we can get in here. But it's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? <laughs> don't worry. I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist, after all. So what's your call, Joker? Want to head inside? Almost too quiet. Hey, this. It's moving. Come on, we're in the palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. Huh, the palace reflects its ruler's heart. 
We may want to check these paintings out. Hmm? Oh, hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let, let me see. It's someone's name and age. What the hell? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. I'm curious about the other paintings too. Come on, let's go look in the next room. It's kind of creepy seeing all these people on the walls. Look at this one. Alright. Yeah, it didn't get past this part, really. These all look so similar, even down to the composition. This one's got a name in age too. All of them are all of them former pupils. Plastic frame. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Monorame is famous for having a variety of art styles. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the... Wait a sec. Damn it. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos, you know? The one who was talking stuff about Monorame? His name's written on a plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why there's a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right, doesn't art usually have like the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. Alright, let's keep looking around for now. So there's even a painting of this dude in here. Guess we're going into the next room. What? No way. Isn't this a painting of that guy? It says, uh, yeah, Yusuke. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? I think you're right. What? For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that one guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Hmm. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Well, that was a weird transition. There seems to be some sort of pamphlet here. Hmm? What's up? You find something? We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Hmm. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why'd he bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility. At the very least, it should be a good reference for the scale of this place. Huh, but the map only shows half of the museum. I see, it says it's one out of two. Then the two auto twos gotta be around here too, somewhere. Right, so just how big is this place? I don't know. We can worry about we can worry about that another time. Right now our objective is looking to Monorame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean he's got a palace, seems pretty fishy to me. What is this? Oh. 
probably need another lockpick for this one. Or not. Guess we're going to the door. Joker, let's check around this room a little closer. Oh, great. conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up. He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still... When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real phantom thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. Reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe them your life, basically? <laughs> I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Yusuke, Madarame isn't a problem. Is something wrong? Yeah, a little. I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamashida. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really any point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame is worth going after or not? I don't know, if it were me, I'd never forgive him. Yeah, I guess we could talk some more after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and save it here. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll continue this next time. Bye guys.